Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Right now, I'm off to clinical. It is about 5.45 a.m., and I have some cool cases today, so I'm gonna take you along with me. Let's go. And just like that, clinical's over, and I'm in the car with all my favorite people and animals, and we're on our way to Charlottesville. I wanted to tell you guys, though, what I did today because I was too busy at work and I didn't have a lot of time to vlog, and I know that my cases were interesting, so I'm gonna share. I did a carotid endarnectomy, which is when there's carotid stenosis in the carotid artery, and they go remove the plaque, open it back up, and help with the brain perfusion. Gross. <laughs> So that's always a really interesting case. It's super busy. I'm not going to go too much into detail, but there's a lot of lines and drips and medications and stuff like that. So I like doing those. It's always a great experience. We don't need all the de detail. We don't need it all. John doesn't like medical stories. Ugh. And then I did two smaller cases, which were just like extremity cases. We have about three hours and 24 minutes to go. And where's our first stop going to be? Donuts. We're going to Sugar Shack. We're going to see who can eat more donuts in one sitting. You're I gonna think do I'm what gonna you win. always do when you go, I can eat a whole dozen donuts. You get a dozen donuts and you eat two and a half and then you say you're sick. I found it, the peach edition. I'm not buying this if you're uh, from John Schiller Consulting. I'm not buying it. I'm on donut number three. Um, I'm running out of room. I thought I was gonna eat a lot more donuts than that. Look how many are left. So we're gonna finish this and move on. We're about 15 minutes away from my mom's house. So, see you there. We made it! Back home now. So I was originally gonna vlog like the entire weekend in Virginia, which was really only one and a half days. So I ended up not vlogging. Vlogging isn't really that easy. You kind of have to like plan what you're doing. So I didn't want to waste all my time with them trying to film. Anyway, back home now and don't worry because we have some exciting stuff going on. I start my cardiac rotation tomorrow for clinical. Today I have class. I have an interview conference call with a nursing student who asked me if she could interview me for a project. And then tonight I'm doing the CrossFit Open because I missed it on Friday. So I'm really excited to do that and see what I get. We have a lot going on anyway. I have a huge to-do list. It's crazy how one weekend can get you so behind, but I'm about to have breakfast. I'll show you guys what I'm having. And then I have that conference call in about 20 minutes. All right, as you can see, we got a pretty simple little breakfast going on here. Some Kashi Goline Crunch. We got good macros on here, four grams of fat, 32 carbs, 11 grams of protein. I cut up half a banana, stuck it in there, and also put some cinnamon on top and got my coconut milk. I'm kind of getting a little stricter with my diet right now because I'm gonna do a kind of mini cut coming up soon. So I'm gonna start tracking everything that I'm eating and stuff like that. I usually pay really close attention to what I'm eating anyway, but when I'm not cutting or competing, I just kind of eat and don't really track everything in my phone. So I'll probably do a little mini cut video for you guys. That'll be fun because I really love nutrition and got some cool meal ideas. All right, gonna go eat this now, wait for my conference call, and then I'll be heading to school shortly after that. Nurse practitioners are CRNAs and everybody's kind of moving up. And I think that has a lot to do. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye, thank you.
All right, I just finished my interview with Kenyana and she's a nursing student, the second semester nursing student. She's also in the Air Force, so that was a really interesting interview and I was happy to answer some of her questions. Now I'm getting ready to head to school so I can study and have some internet. All right, so the internet's out all over where I live, so I decided to come to school to use the internet here instead. Hopefully, the internet is up in this building. All right, we have internet, and I'm gonna be working on my abstract because it is due on Wednesday for my research project. I'm actually almost done. I'm just rereading it one more time and doing some final touches. I'm gonna to submit that and then do some studying for neuro and catch up on some emails and comments. And class is at 12. It is 11.06 right now, so hopefully I can get all this stuff done in the next hour. I'm back home now. I'm about to get something to eat. It's about 3.30. I'm planning on doing the open workout at 5.30 if John gets home in time from the house closing he's at right now. He's closing on one of our investments right now. So if he gets home in time, we're gonna go at 5.30. If not, we'll go at 6.30 and work out. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat because there's about two hours before my workout, maybe three. And I don't like eating within the two hour window, but I just got home and I need to eat something. So I'm gonna have kind of something light and healthy and then not eat anything else and just drink water until I work out. I'm eating now and I'm just reading about cabbages because I'll be doing cabbage tomorrow and it'll be my first real one. I've been in on a few before like in the middle, but this will be my first real one from start to finish because I start my cardiac rotation tomorrow. So I'll be doing cardiac surgery for the next month or two. I'm not exactly sure when it ends, but I'm going to read about cabbages and bypass on and off bypass. And I'm also going to review central line placement because I'll be doing a lot of central lines on this rotation and I haven't done one in a couple weeks. So that'll be helpful, I'm excited, I'm kind of nervous. I have to be at clinical at like 5 a.m. tomorrow to set up because these take a while to set up for. And I'm gonna take you guys along for that as well, but I just kind of want to explain to you how I'm preparing. So I'll show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so what I'm doing is just reviewing in the heart surgery chapter of one of our books and I'm looking at the cardiopulmonary bypass and what we'll be doing tomorrow, then I'll go watch some videos about central lines. So I'm gonna be reading about this for the next hour or two until John comes home and then figure out what time we're going to the gym. That was a tough one. I hate rowing so much. And I don't mind wall balls, but the rowing holds me back so much. So I got here 202 reps, and I got above 200, which is my goal. So not too bad. And now I'm gonna practice my handstand walks. John's deadlifting because he refuses to participate in cardio. morning everybody it is about 4 45 a.m and i'm about to head out to clinical today's my first day of cardiac clinical 
As you know, and I'm pretty excited, the one thing about cardiac clinical is the surgery start earlier and it takes a lot of time to set up, so we have to get there super early. So I wanna be there between five and 5.15, so I'm gonna leave now. Thankfully, I live less than 10 minutes away, but it's so early. I feel tired still. I'm trying to get myself together and wake up, and it's gonna be a good day. My classmate, one of my good friends, is in cardiac clinical right now, so she's been in there for four weeks already, and she has two weeks left, so I start today, so she's gonna help me set up and kind of show me what's going on, so I'm gonna go meet up with her in just a few minutes. Super excited to see what we're gonna get into today. Gonna to do some center lines, some A lines, some cool stuff like that. So I'll be sure to catch up with you guys in a little bit. This is Casey, she's my classmate, and she's been in cardiac for about a month now, so she's showing me how to set up the room this morning. And I figured we would ask her about cardiac since she has more experience with it. So what is your favorite thing about cardiac? I like doing the central lines and the A-lines. I think I'm gonna like that too. So we're excited and we'll get to spend a lot of time together today yes. learning how to do That's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> It ended up being a very busy day. As you can see, there was a long period where I couldn't vlog, but I'm gonna tell you guys what happened instead. So I got to do my first heart surgery. It was really cool. So this month I'll be doing those. It was really interesting. And then outside of that, I got to go to two floor intubations and two codes today. So I got to do a lot of intubations, a lot of other stuff. And sometimes people ask me what our role is during a code. So I thought I'll answer that in this video. We are there for the airway number one. So we go and intubate. And then the other things we do are IV access medications, help run the code, things like that. Sometimes there's people already taking care of all the other stuff or sometimes there's not and we kind of take over and help out. Anyway, that's one of the things I love about anesthesia is we get to do a lot of different stuff. It's not just in the OR doing the same cases all the time. It's the OR, the ER, the floor, the ICU, all kinds of different surgery centers, all kinds of different surgeries. So there's a lot of different options and that's something I really like because I like to change up things and I don't like to be doing the same thing every day. Anyway, I figured I would wrap this video up. I've been filming for a few days to show you kind of two clinics days a little weekend in the life and I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it was a little bit all over the place because I was traveling clinical school stuff like that but right now John and I say hi we're about to head to the gym and train. Um, I did 19.1, I'm gonna do the open 19.2 this Thursday or Friday probably Friday night so stay tuned on my Instagram if you want to see about that and I'm pretty excited to see what the workout is. I hope it has a barbell in it this time. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you as always for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to keep following me along on my journey. And as always, I'll see you next week.